Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have the Samsung Galaxy on 7 Prime with me and in this uh, video we'll be doing the unboxing and have a first look and I'm only unboxing this because I got quite a few requests from you guys to do the same and I purchased this from Amazon India and as you can see the pricing is 12,999 and surprisingly I paid that much 13,000 uh, this comes in actually two variants guys uh, this one is uh, coming with 32 GB of internal storage this is for 13,000 this comes with 3 gigabytes of RAM as you can see another variant is selling for 15,000 and that comes with 4 gigabytes of RAM and 64 GB of internal storage and as you can see on the back it does not say a lot of things uh, it says that it has that Samsung mall. Uh, it just it doesn't even specify the processor what it has and there is a reason because it's outdated processor that they are using. In fact, the processor is the Exynos 7870 on this one, which was used by Samsung about two years ago. So it's an old processor they have. Uh, technically, they're just rebadging this phone as a new model and selling, I would say. Uh, so I don't know what Samsung is doing when uh, the competition is heating up uh, quite a bit in this price range under 15,000. So let me just break these seals and then we will continue. So I've broken the seals. So let's open this up. And uh, as you can see, this is the handset itself. I had opted for this gray color one. Let's just take this out. Just comes out and we have a plastic. Uh, on this let me take this out this is not a screen guard guys just as you can see in terms of looks yeah it's fine and back it says 32 gb the sticker is there and uh, yeah we'll come back to the handset later let's see what else do we get in the box uh, so we get this image ejector tool some paperwork quick start guide and stuff uh let's see the power adapter is it a fast charger no, sadly guys, it's not a, five, a fast charger. It's five volts at 1.55 amps. So a uh, normal regular charger. It has a 3,300 milliamp hour battery. And uh, again, micro USB port. So no USB type C, still uh, Samsung is using that. And surprisingly, we don't get any headset also. Samsung used to include headsets, but now on this one, they're not even including the headset. So that's what we get in the box. Let's keep it to the side. So this is the handset itself. It has a 5.5 inch screen and it's a TFT LCD screen, guys, not an AMOLED screen. Uh, camera, uh, it's a 13 megapixel, they say, on the back. And even the front facing camera is a 13 megapixel. We'll take some sample shots later on and we'll check how good it is. And on the top, uh, we actually have nothing. And guys, uh, uh, this is actually plastic. This is that aluminum build quality, but here it's plastic that it has. Uh, we have an opening here for the speaker. So speaker vent is over here. We just have the power on off button here on the bottom 3.5 mm headphone jack, uh, micro USB port, main microphone. And we have actually two SIM trays and the volume rocker. Let's look at it. So it looks like we have a dedicated slot for uh, my, uh, what do you say, SD card. So yeah, your first SIM will go here, nano SIM. And uh, your second SIM, will go here as you can see second is also nano sim and you can also put a micro sd card so that's actually a good thing and i frankly feel it doesn't make any sense to purchase the fifteen thousand rupees variant uh, uh, samsung is already charging quite a bit of premium so let's power this on let's switch this on give me haptic feedback it says galaxy on 7 prime and uh, these buttons are not backlit as you can see nothing is happening when you click it we have a LED uh, notification light, so thankfully at least that is there. Uh, I'll also check what are the sensors present because Samsung is sort of notorious to skip sensors on these uh, phones. We'll test that. And by the time it actually boots up and I set it up, let me give you a configuration overview. The Samsung Galaxy On7 Prime is powered by the Exynos 7870 octa-core processor. This is not a new processor. This was launched in 2016. It has a 5.5-inch TFT LCD screen at 1080p. It is uh, having 3 gigabytes of RAM or 4 gigabytes of RAM with 32 or 64 GB of internal storage. Moving to the camera, uh, it is having a 13 megapixel rear and a front-facing camera with f1.9 lens. It also has a fingerprint scanner and a 3300 mAh battery. So guys, I've just finished uh, setting up this uh, device and as you can see, uh, 
this is what we get again these are not backlit or give any haptic feedback these two buttons but it has the fingerprint scanner we'll check that it also comes with uh, samsung uh, pay mini but again this is not full-fledged samsung uh, pay uh, it doesn't have nfc or anything and it's really really sad to see that uh, this device does not even have uh, what do you say the uh, auto brightness sensor come on samsung it's 2018 you're charging 13,000, 15,000, and uh, you are not giving a what do you say even a auto brightness sensor so that's actually pretty sad i would say i thought they would improve in 2018 but yeah sort of disappointed so and if you go to software info it's still running on android version 7.1.1 so still on no good and guys, uh, if you have been following Samsung devices, as this is an entry-level mid-range Android device from Samsung, uh, I don't expect uh, uh, it to get the latest Android update that is Oreo anytime. So you are stuck with uh, that one. How much uh, storage that we get out of that? So if you click here, and regarding the processor I was talking earlier, this is the Exynos 7870. Uh, actually, this is almost a two-year-old uh, uh, processor this was earlier used in galaxy j7 2016 uh, anyways regarding the storage uh, out of that uh, 32 gb you roughly get about uh, 23.9 gigabytes good thing is that it has a dedicated sd card slot so storage should not be an issue but this is what you are getting again no haptic feedback also when you click these uh, button so they're also cost cutting but it does have the split screen view it says as you can see so that option is provided let's just uh, go over here and um, let me actually install uh, some apps to see uh, what are the sensors that are there on this so i'll just do that and i'll come back so guys, I have just installed Antutu on this. So let's open it up to check the sensors and what it has. So let's just go to the My Device option. And as you can see, it's having the Exynos 7870 with the Mali, uh, what do you say, T830 uh, GPU. It's a 1080p. Guys, but this is a TFT screen, not an IPS grade screen. And I can easily say uh, that the viewing angles are not that good. If you tilt it, it starts to fade away pretty quickly. Uh, but anyways uh, this is regarding the storage cpu let's look at the sensors what it has or what it doesn't have obviously uh, nfc is not there and as you can see this is so disappointing see the sensors list and almost nothing is supported only proximity sensor is uh, there that's the basic that's it this is the sensor list and almost everything is not supported this is the problem I have with Samsung, uh, what do you say, uh, J-series phone. Almost every sensor, nothing is there. Even basic sensors like auto brightness, uh, magnetic field, etc. Nothing is uh, there. So very disappointing that uh, still in 2018, Samsung is charging 13,000 and not giving you even basic uh, sensors on their device. Uh, but anyways, that's what it is. Let's look at the fingerprint scanner. Uh, so this is the fingerprint scanner. So I'll just press it and yeah that works let's try again i won't press this this time i'll just tap my finger so you just uh, place your finger on it it'll unlock it's not instant it's taking about a second but as you can see at least the fingerprint scanner works you can always also press it and it works now let's look at uh, the camera on this uh let's invoke the camera let's take some snaps so it says fx modes fine yeah let's and uh, let's hit this and the shutter speed is actually good but here the lighting is good as you can see let me uh, show you the uh, settings what it has video up to uh, 1080p is supported that's a good thing even with the front facing uh, up to 1080p is supported so what i'll do is i'll take some uh, camera sample shots around my office before i show you the sample shots here is a word from the sponsor of this video that is cashify.in are you looking to buy this device or any other smartphone? Then sell your old mobile and laptops on Cashify.in to unlock the best market price. Check out Cashify.in to encash your phone in less than 60 seconds. So these are some of the sample shots that I have taken in my office uh, with this Galaxy On 7 Prime so that you can get a very quick idea. And here are some of the quick selfies that I've taken with this uh, device. 
So guys, that was the unboxing and first look at this Galaxy On 7 uh, Prime. So what do you uh, guys think about this Galaxy On 7 Prime? Frankly speaking, for the price of about 13,000, I'm sort of uh, disappointed with Samsung. It's 2018 and it's high time Samsung pays attention to uh, some of the basic sensors that you would expect in this price range. Uh, I would say if you are a hardcore Samsung fan, then only go for this because if we talk about price to value, it simply does not offer any value. At this price point, you have way better devices like the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4, the Honor 9 Lite, Honor 7X, the Xiaomi Mi A1. If you don't want Chinese phone, then we have the Moto G5 Plus, G5S Plus. And also if you want to support Indian companies, there was that uh, earlier uh, smart Tron uh, T phone. Uh, so again, you have a lot more choices now. But frankly speaking, this one, the Galaxy On 7 uh, Prime for the price is simply uh, not value for money device. But anyways, what do you think about this Samsung Galaxy On 7 Prime? Would love to know your opinions in the YouTube comment section below. So guys, that's it for now for this unboxing and first look at this Galaxy On 7 Prime. And if you're still not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.